the, I have a Rocky chair to set in, and I think Patty was trying to tell me something. So we'll just sort of ignore her, okay? And here is my story. They left their home, the new cradle still swinging in the rafters. Night after night, the aroma of fresh cut wood had filled the room as Joseph had patiently fashioned the tiny candle, the cradle, using the same chisel and saw he usually put down at dusk. Now Joseph wiped the tears from Mary's cheeks and shut the door behind them. It'll be okay, he told her, as he cinched up their belongings on the donkey. Joseph, can't we wait a few days? The baby could come any time. She didn't want to leave home, not now. We waited for the baby as long as we dare. He was, he was ready to get on the road. We have to leave today or I'll be arrested for not appearing in Bethlehem for the census. At least bring the cradle, Joseph, she pleaded. I want the baby to have something nice. No, he'll have to stay behind. The baby will be rocking in it soon enough. Five days and 90 bone-weary miles later, Joseph searched the small stable where they were staying on the outskirts of crowded Bethlehem. Mary's time would be soon now. He finally settled on an ancient stone manger for the baby's bed cut from the wall of the limestone cave that housed the animals. He reached in to scoop the last gritty bits of fodder from the manger's dank bottom. That'll have to do, he muttered. He filled the trough with an armful of fresh straw and covered it with a folded blanket to keep the animals away. It was well past midnight by the time Mary finished washing and wrapping her new baby. Now she lifted him gently into his new bed. Joseph put his arm around Mary's shoulder as they gazed at the sleeping infant. Mary touched the tiny fingers. That cradle you spent so much time on would be so nice right now, Joseph. She looked up at the cave's low ceiling. You could hang it somewhere. No baby I know has a cradle like that. It's fit for a king. Joseph grinned. Not every boy has a carpenter for a dad, he said. But he wondered, why couldn't little Jesus be home in that cradle? Why does this special child the angel told Mary and him about have to be born in this smelly stable? A hill country carpenter's home is bad enough. Why here? Why Bethlehem? The answer wasn't long in coming. An older boy poked his head in the door, startling the couple from their quiet moment. Is there a baby in here? He mumbled apologetically. Then he saw the tiny child. Mary picked her baby up to shield the infant from his eyes. The face disappeared. Mary's eyes mirrored Joseph's concern. He strode to the cave's opening. He could hear a distant call. Over here, Jake. We found him. In the darkness, Joseph could make out a handful of forms coming toward him. He gripped his stout wooden staff and stood resolutely at the door. As they approached the stable, he could see they were shepherds. Joseph's grip on the staff tightened. The oldest one spoke hesitantly. Can we come in? We have um, come to see the Christ child. Joseph looked at Mary. He could feel a tingle move up and down his spine. This was more than an accident. The whole fantastic course of events was far more than an accident. He nodded and stepped back into the stable. Yes, come in. You are welcome. The shepherds shuffled into the cramped cave. The youngest pushed in alongside the donkey to get a better view. They knelt. God be praised. The old shepherd spoke with deep reverence. It's just like the angel told us, another whispered in awe. Behold, I bring you good tidings of joy. 
which shall be all people. The angel said, Imagine an angel talking to us. The old man interjected with rising excitement, and the child is right here in a stable so we can come and see him. Rivlets of tears were inching down the shepherd's weathered face. Joseph stared at the old man. How did you find us? He finally asked. The boy who had first peeked in answered. The angel said, Unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. That's here, Bethlehem, David's birthplace, the littlest boy interrupted. He thrust out his chest proudly. King David was a shepherd too, you know. The older boy continued, The Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The Christ, the Messiah, he's the one. The old man pointed to the baby. The angel was very specific, the young man went on, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. He grinned. How could we miss? We just ran into town and checked every stable until we found you. Found him? The boy paused. How many newborns in Bethlehem do you know with a cattle manger for a cradle? Joseph chuckled. So that was it. The Heavenly Father himself had provided a bed for his child, a special cradle, a sign to these crude shepherds that God cared for them too. Joseph squeezed Mary's hand very tightly. Amen. Amen.